Good day, everyone. You are welcome to Biology Class. Today, I'll be taking you on Organization of Life. I'm Okoye Fatu Now to the objectives. We're going to consider the introduction to Organization of Life, differences between plants and animals, as well as characteristics of living things. All living organisms share key functions. They all share life processes. They are very organized. They are very structured. And this makes it easy to examine it from a simple to a complex scale. Organization of life. Living things, like I said, they are highly structured. The level of organization are ranged from the simplest to most complex, starting from atoms, molecules, macromolecules, organisms, populations, communities, ecosystems, and biosphere. Now we're going to consider the differences between plants and animals. Plants generally are rooted in one place. They do not move on their own. In the case of animals, they have the ability to move. Plants contain chlorophyll and can make their own food. Animals cannot make their own food. They are dependent on plants and other animals for food. Plants give off oxygen and take in carbon dioxide given off by animals. Animals give off carbon dioxide, which plant needs to make food and take in oxygen which they need to breathe. Plant cells have cell walls and other structures differ from those of animals. Animal cells do not have cell walls and have different structure than plant cells. Plants have either no or very basic ability to sense. Animals have a much more highly developed sensory and nervous system. Plants are autotrophic, while animals are heterotrophic. Now we're going to look at the characteristics of living things. We're all familiar with the terms Mr. Niger D, Mr. Niger Card. For this session, we're going to consider heat. We're going to look at movement, reproduction, sensitivity, growth, respiration, excretion, nutrition. Now, movement. Movement simply means the ability to move and change position. Reproduction is the ability to reproduce the same kind of organism. Sensitivity is the ability to sense and respond to stimuli. For example, in plants, they can bend towards a source of light, climb on walls, or respond to touch. Growth is the ability to permanently increase in size. Respiration is the ability to create chemical reactions that can break down nutrient molecules in living cells to release energy. Excretion is the ability to excrete toxic materials, waste products of metabolism, and excess substances. Finally, nutrition is the ability to take in and absorb nutrients. The nutrient being absorbed contain energy needed for growth and tissue repairs. In summary, the level of organization starts from the smallest unit to the largest category, from atom to biosphere, like we discussed earlier. The simplest level of organization for living things is a single organelle, which is composed of aggregates of macromolecules. The simplest level of organization for living thing is the biosphere. It encompasses all other levels. And also, characteristics of living things that we discussed has to do with the traits or qualities of living organisms. Now for the assignment. We are expected to state complexity of the organization in higher organisms. Thank you for listening and it's bye for now.